Good evening, all. Welcome to the ISA online PG classes. Today we have uh, a very different and important topic, which will be taken up by Dr. Anshul Jain, and it will be moderated by lots of experts in that particular field. And we shall be talking to today about innovations. And when we talk of innovations, they can be in the field of anesthesia, they can be in the field of critical care, but once that an idea comes in, more important is how to transform that an idea of innovation and then take it forward to the process of patenting and ultimately the manufacturing. So today we have amongst us Dr. Anshul Jain from Jhansi, who shall be talking about transforming an idea to innovation in an anesthesia and critical care practice, the Indian scenario. And uh, he will be joined by Mr. Prag Moore, uh, who shall be talking about patents. He's a patent attorney. And then we have got very eminent chairperson with us, Dr. J. Balavankat from Coimbatore, Dr. Shiv Deshpande from Sangli Miraj, Dr. Professor B. K. Dulkade from Kims Karad, Dr. Apik Patwa from Gurugram, and Dr. Vishal Singla from Gurugram. So once Dr. Anchul is uh, through with his talk, and along with uh, Mr. Prag and M. Moore, I'll request the chairpersons to carry it forward with the discussions. I hand over to the coordinators, Dr. Nishan Sai from IMS Patna and Dr. Monica Chikara from PJ Rotak to carry it forward. Over to you, Nishan and Monica. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, uh, every Monday we have these ISA online PG classes, sir. And this is the 67th in the series today. And as mentioned by sir, it is uh, slightly uh, different this time in that uh, we have uh, this session which will be based on uh, innovations. So the first talk will be by Dr. Anshul Jain, uh, transforming an idea into innovation in anesthesia and critical care practice. Uh, then it will be followed by All About Patients by Dr. Parag, Mor Parag More, sir, followed by a discussion by the eminent chairpersons as Naveen sir has already mentioned. So uh, to begin with, we'll be having Dr. Anshul Jain Dr. Anshul Jain is a professor of anesthesiology and Rice principal of the MLB Medical College at Chhansi. Uh, and uh, he's the youngest to become professor in anesthesia pan India when he was uh, appointed as professor at the age of 37 by the UP Public Service Commission. He has got uh, appreciation from the government of Uttar Pradesh for his exemplary work. He has mentored two IIT Kanpur incubated startups and an equity holder in three medical industry based startups. He has over 15 PubMed index research publications, and in fact, two uh, chapters and two publications of books also, Essentials of Anesthesiology and Critical Care, published by JP Publications, and he's the editor of the COVID-19 Comprehensive Review published by the Evangel Publications, uh, along with the, the very reputed Dr. Anjan Prikhasar from AIMS in New Delhi. But uh, his area of interest is innovations, and he has had two innovations. The Karn Kavach PPE kit, which he designed and got approved by the DRDO. And later on, this kit is being uh, manufactured by the Jupiter Reagents uh, Private Limited. The other is the Bain H circuit, which is an innovatively modified breathing circuit designed for the transportation and resuscitation of patients with uh, respiratory infections. It is currently in the market manufactured by Romson India Private Limited. And in fact, this has been published in anesthesia and analgesia practice also. So a uh, very warm welcome, uh, sir. Oh, thank you, uh, Salot, our Dr. Nishan. And it's an uh, uh, honor for me to be on this platform and talking to the eminent uh, personalities like Manutra sir and other dignitaries. Right? So I, uh, this is a very important topic. And rather, uh, when I, you, you will see that most of the time we have an idea, we don't know that what to do. And we also always say, think first we file patent, it will take another two years. And afterwards, uh, by the time patent and everything come, the, the requirement of that device is either gone or you'll find some other device uh, in market. So the my talk is related to how you can transform your idea to uh, innovation and then how you can market it. And in the end, how can you earn the money and the name both of the, uh, both the things? Well, in the end, it's not like that key. you are investing everything and you are paying for the patent fees, attorney fees, and uh, afterwards you find that I haven't got anything, just a 
patent but uh, that wasn't uh, even able to pitch in the market so my uh, means way of working is that ki if you have an idea there's uh, just uh, make that idea I mean is marketable and uh, in, transform that into a device system so thanks a lot to the chairpersons and uh, can i begin my talk now yes sir please okay so let me share my screen Sir, during the course of this talk, every participant will be muted. And just in case there are any questions, they are encouraged uh, to write it in the chat box itself. Uh, if there are any questions which you might want to ask, uh, they are also encouraged, the audience is encouraged to write in the chat box itself. Yes, sir, it is visible full screen, please. Yeah, now it's visible. Yes, yes, perfect. So Thanks a lot once again to the chairpersons and uh, ISA National. So my talk today is transforming an idea into innovation in anesthesia and critical practice in Indian scenario. So first of all, the question is what is innovation? So innovation is a practical implementation of ideas. Note the word practical implementation of ideas that result in introduction of new goods or service or improvement in offering goods or service. So uh, we always think innovation is something new. It's not like that means if you are uh, if we are using our endotracheal tube for some other thing that that would be an innovative use for that tube okay or uh, if you, you are we are modifying that endotracheal tube into something good or something uh, we are limiting uh, the limiting factors uh, reducing the limiting factors of that tube so uh, definitely then we will say that we have innovated or something or the other question is uh, there are three words one is creativity, one is invention, and third is innovation. Innovation is the broader aspect of everything that starts with creativity. Creativity is an act of creating new ideas, imagination, and possibilities. You see, uh, we always uh, use the word creativity in for our kids. Because they have got flight of ideas, and uh, but uh, really those ideas are workable. So Creativity is an act of creating new ideas, imagination, and possibilities. And what about invention? Invention is abhi tak to jo chiz idea mein thi, means dimag mein thi, but physically exist nahi kar rahi thi. In case if we convert that creativity or creative idea into something that exists actually, then it becomes invention. So it is not necessarily that all invention are useful. Means anything new that haven't been made so far is a new. Uh, it's called invention something that has never been made before or the process of creating something that has never been made before by definition called invention by definition is to be something entirely new so on invention that has never been done before in common word invention is transformation of creative idea into a thing that actually exists abhi software bhi ho sakta hai hardware bhi ho sakta hai not like that ki uh, thing has to be physically carryable but Definitely, there should be something means like uh, uh, by the time Zoom wasn't available, we have idea that uh, we should have some platform by which we can exchange our ideas and we can see each other. Uh, but uh, the, definitely there was no platform, but as soon Zoom is uh, becomes available or Microsoft Teams become available, now what this become? This become an invention. And once uh, it is in the market, means we are using that or... Uh, then it becomes innovation uh, that you will see in the next slide. So what is the difference between invention and innovation? Many people think that innovation is simply a fancy new word for invention. And some people wrongly assume that they are the one and the same. Actually, innovation comes from a Latin verb innovare and means the introduction of new thing or ideas or ways of doing something. To innovate is to introduce something to the new to the market to manipulate existing inventions and turn them into a product or process that is of use in the real world. So, innovation connects the doors between invention. Abhi tak kya tha? If we have got an only one idea, okay, that uh, you can think that uh, I will quote an example of simple needle ke, uh, the, you, that was being used for sewing. Okay, that uh, you can say, first of all, uh, some uh, our uh, old uh, ancestors have an idea 
ki there must be some sharp thing by which they can insert into the cloth or trees or anything when uh, then they come up with a needle okay that is being used for uh, means uh, inserting a uh, creating a hole in something afterwards they uh, inserted a hole in uh, the other portion of the needle through which the thread could be passed then the use become different so and uh, afterwards a hole uh, means the needle was became uh, a later modification converted that needle into a hole over one so then becomes the useful in the medical practice also so you can see the word needle 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 be it epidural needle be it a spinal needle so the initial this is a simple one innovation one invention but later on modified into different and different diff ways and every product was a innovative product okay so when we terms of a medical device medical device is broadly defined as a medical article instrument apparatus or machine that is used in the prevention diagnosis or treatment of illness Okay, medical device varies from simple hypodermic needle to sophisticated operating microscope and now robotic microscopes also. And for your information and everyone else information, India imports 80% of its requirement of medical devices from outside country. So what is our Indian scenario? India imported $6.24 billion medical devices in financial year, last financial year, 21. And as you can see, the total market size of our India in 2021 was 11.914 billion dollars okay so now you can uh, agree with me that indian medical device market is a very vast market and provides you the vast opportunity for uh, this innovations and uh, currently the indian medical uh, market is estimated to exceed uh, 12 billion dollar if you convert that into actually money a rupee so that becomes uh, around uh, 1000 billion dollar uh, billion rupees actually and is an attractive export sector for us firms and chinese firms they always have a look on indian market and indian wo hindi mein bolte hain wo bhartiya market ki nabz tatolte rehte hain ki yahan par kya requirement hai unko aisi cheeze bana ke de despite numerous market challenges and uh, such uh, truly speaking india is to import almost all sophisticated devices and more than two third of simple devices like automated bp instruments so now everyone should be agree with me that indian market provides vast opportunity for indian medical innovations so but uh, things actually exist uh, before also and even then we find that uh, everything around us uh, is imported and truly speaking that uh, we have got a uh, vast opportunity we have vast uh, means uh, chances for innovation also because anything we see around us uh, none, of, uh, none of our equipment or device is perfect be it laryngoscope be it a endotracheal tube be it means breathing circuit and simultaneously our, all of our fixed equipments are imported and most uh, means rather almost all of them have some room for some improvement so now the question again back to the original point why very few innovations from anesthesiology and critical care we are uh, actually engineer guided persons they used to provide us workstations they used to provide us a ventilator that sir we have created this and this is the benefit we have created this laryngoscope like uh, you can see a better image quality in this and we never feel that uh, from where the idea actually gone to them they uh, even in their r and d sector you won't find any anesthesiologist even in the means uh, the persons uh, dragger uh, who is uh, devising ventilators you don't find many or rather very few critical care specialists in their r and d team but actually they are, the most of the things are driven by their engineer team and their r and d sector based on the basic knowledge of mbbs so by we are again to the original question is how anesthesia mein innovation itna kam hota kyun hai the only answer of this question is we call our creative idea as jugaad or we never try to transform our jugaad into innovation everyone must be agree with you you will find that uh, many of our residents or uh, in fact us also we follow different or different jugaads in our clinical practice but uh, we do that and we discuss that with our friends but uh, never used to think that uh, this can be exploited commercially also this can be transformed on a broader aspect to the benefit of our society and uh, our institute also 
so uh, now i wish to means uh, uh, share uh, i wish to uh, mention if anyone want to share uh, his regard so usko hum index example ki tarah lenge because uh, i uh, afterwards i want to make this session interactive also so anyone if you uh, want to share his regard he can raise in a hand uh, raise their hand or uh, mention the chat box so now what is it that you want uh, dr anshul they want you want the audience to come up with uh, share their uh, yeah, yeah they can share it, their idea only then session will be means that uh, yes, i will yes, tell yes. them that how can they they transform their idea into innovation okay yes so all the audience members are encouraged to just type their uh, innovation if at all they have any 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 anything any means, innovation be yes, they yes. use any different cannula be they use any different sort of any uh, a uh, different uh, um, uh, means modification in rails tube or endotracheal tube or anything means uh, bipap mask mein unhone kuch change kiya ho kuch bhi kiya ho they they are free to mention that, that uh, thing in the chat box can an innovation be an idea also sir definitely any innovation begins with the idea and okay. I'll, i'll later on you see that means uh, idea se khatarnak aur acha kuch bhi nahi hai <laughs> to hitler ko idea aaya tha idea to tha usko pehle theek hai so, yes uh, we have uh, we have approximately 34 uh, participants currently just in case there are any innovations say that anybody wants to share i am i'm not them. saying that uh, you share your innovation you just share your jugaad okay we we used to call in our routine na ki humne ye jugaad kiya ki iska jo vein nahi banna tha to humne aise karke tourniquet lagaya or you find that vein ban gaya or is it's like that simple very simple okay so uh, by the time i am continuing with session we will back to the original question once again so what are the benefits of innovation for an individual for an institution and for the country individual ko sabse pehle he will be self he will get self satisfaction definitely the other point of anyone is that you, he should be economically benefited so financial benefit you do have after the innovation and uh, academic benefit you will find yourself to be seen differently when you have got some sort of medical products behind your name okay ki ye inhone banaya means we in our anesthesia see we used to say that there are many products on the name of goodall okay so for institutional uh, patent uh, number of patents and number of grant is a one very important prospect of international ranking and a institution with uh, who have got innovations has definitely good and improved healthcare and if we take this on the horizon of our country then definitely we are reducing the healthcare cost because we are means uh, putting ourselves from export to import, from import uh, economy to the self dependent economy that reduce the economic burden also okay for your knowledge that uh, uh, many of us don't know that if we take a sector then the import in health sector is far higher than the our important defense sector you always said the ki defense sector ko to hum wo karte hain ki criticize bhi karte hain kai baar ki why we are importing so much but practically speaking the our import is uh, maximum in the health sector and critical care is uh, one of the very important aspect in which we are importing almost everything so now back to the original question ki if you have a creative idea and how to transform that creative idea into innovation we have got three options first file a patent yes to file a patent you don't need to have a product ready but you need to have a workable idea drawings and your claims okay so you can file a provisional patent later on i will tell you this and uh, parag more will is also going to tell uh, this thing and option to find a potential manufacturer for experienced person this is a alternate and better feasible option abhi maine likha hai ki experienced person hai but later on i am going to tell you that this is the best option for working to find a potential manufacturer the benefit potential viability you can see the competitors sharing of the patent expenses but definitely there are risks involved that manufacturer or can steal your idea or because at any moment of time you are going to share your idea with someone and definitely there is some risk involved with that and uh, to limit that risk there are legal uh, formalities that i am going to discuss 
So uh, option number three, if you have got some good idea and you feel that that can have a vast uh, impact over the healthcare, then apply for grant and produce a workable model. This is the best option for those who are working in academic institutes. Working model can be done in the incubation centers. Incubation centers you will find in the all India institutes and IITs, and you can approach them. And BIREC is the institute uh, means uh, body that uh, and ICMR is the body that is going to provide you grant. And um, we will discuss that uh, in our next slides. So right now everyone used to think that uh, we should patent this thing. We should patent this thing. Why, uh, how that is going to approach means uh, rather I will say that this is the least feasible option that file a patent initially uh, because of time and everything. But you should, everyone should know that uh, why is, uh, so, so what is patent, Indian laws related to patent, where to apply and how to apply. The thing is going to discuss in detail by uh, patent at Rodney Parag Moriji. So I'm uh, just briefing you that patent is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the legal right to exclude others from making, using, or selling an invention. To obtain a patent, technical information about the invention must be disclosed to the public in a patent application. So as you can see that you have to file an application for patent, you have to mention the idea of the idea. Okay, you have to apply with a fees. And uh, afterwards, you will you are likely or uh, me, me, to get patent. It's not like that. Ke a patent nahi milega because most of the time we just file the first step of a patent, never go for examination and never see the report of the examination. So, what are the types of patent? There's a utility patent, design patent, and plant patent. International classification is like this. Utility patent is the invention of any new or useful process, machine, device, article of manufacture or composition of matter or any new useful improvement thereof. This is the commonest type of patent. Most of the medical device lies in this patent. Second is the design of patent granted to anyone who invent a new original and ornamental design for a, an article of manufacture. Okay. Third is the plant patent plant uh, patent you uh, always uh, must be heard of that different types of fruits that we are seeing plant patent may be granted to anyone who invent or discover and se sexually reproduce any distinct and new variety of plant so what are the indian laws related to patent it's uh, fairly old the first law was of 1856 see 150 year old law we have got up uh, regarding patent and at that time people were aware of uh, patenting and uh, developing new things currently patent in india are governed by patent rule 2005 and the patent amendment rule 2006 the last amendment were made effective from 5th may 2006 where to apply means uh, i have got an idea and now i have got drawing my drawings ready and i want to apply so you can apply to Indian Patent Office currently accepting only online applications that is on the IP India online.gov.in. You can uh, see the recording of this session and you can go through this website and find the various link that uh, can be seen in this uh, slide also. So this is the web page that you are going to open uh, in uh, when you will put that patent uh, website. So what are the limitations of filing patent? That uh, by self means you, uh, there are two ways of filing patent. Either you can do it by self, yourself or you can hire some attorney to file the patent on your behalf. So what are the limitations on the, of this online filing system that it requires digital signature, but definitely for online, for online filing, you need to have a digital signature only. There is no alternate method available. And the procedure it bit, is a bit lengthy. Definitely drafting the application for patent is a bit uh, legal type of application. So a common man or common uh, scientific person, uh, he will feel difficulty in that. So you can uh, take the help of patent facilitator. What are those? These are the attorneys and uh, other usually legal persons. The num name and number of these legal persons are available on the website itself. You can search, uh, this is the web page uh, that I have mentioned, ip.india.gov.in facilitators patent HTML. There are two annexers and you can see open any annexer in the 
uh, for every name they have shown that what are the means uh, specialization of that uh, attorney you can see that Abhishek uh, is in the Abhishek first name Abhishek Mehrutra is for mechanical second name advocate Jinisha Shah is for chemistry biotechnology and third advocate Parag More the uh, this is the where from uh, this is the same slide and same thing from where I have found uh, Parag More actually so I just put uh, on the uh, means search box as medical and the first name I found them I contacted him and uh, I found him very suitable for me and um, later on we uh, he filed three patents for application for me so now the question again I have only idea can I go for patent yes provisional patent application can be filed on the basis of idea only and uh, the type of patent application that can be filed in India are provisional application, ordinary or non-provisional application, convention application, PCT international application, PCT national phase application, patent of addition, divisional application. So first step, this is the first step, initial filing. I file an initial application. Within six months, you have to file for uh, examination request. There's a step two request for examination is the second step, which is again can one can do directly or with the help of patent facilitator. For step one, I have to pay a fees. For step two, again I have to pay the fees. And uh, after uh, step two, you will see the examination report. And uh, if there are some queries, you have to find the response for these queries. And afterwards, once every query got resolved, you can get the patent certificate. Okay. <clears throat> And it uh, usually take around two to two and a half years for getting a patent uh, certificate done. This is the PPK designed by me. In the left, uh, we have file board design patent. So now, uh, at least as I have said that I want to make this uh, session interactive. So let's begin with creative idea. So as I already mentioned, nothing could be more destructive than a bad idea. Similarly, a creative idea can change not only your life, but whole world. Aapki family ki toh badal hi sakta hai, baki puri wish ki badal sakta hai. See, the dignitary is Alfred Bernhard Nobel. Sab logo ne suna hooga, Nobel Prize. He was a Swedish chemist, engineer, inventor, businessman, electrophist. He is best known for having bequeathed his fortune to establish the Nobel Prize. Unke paas itna tha ki unko uska jarwat hi nahi tha. He, unho ne, peta, means, you must be knowing that dynamite joh hum log use karte hai. वो नोबल साहब ने बनाया था और उसके बाद उसका रॉयल्टी इतना आया कि उनका अभी तक उनके सारे खानदान का खर्चा उसी से चल रहा है तो लेट्स बिगिन विद सम क्रिएटिव आइडिया यस अनशुल देयर हैव बीन कपल ऑफ देम दैट हैव कम या प्रोफेसर धुलकेट सर हैज डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द विंग लैरिंगोस्कोप ब्लेड फॉर क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड पैलेट पेशेंट्स सो so let's uh, take wing laryngoscope blade only okay this uh, this is a first of thing ke ye sir ne likha ke hum cleft lip palate surgery ke liye karte hain aur uh, ett ka inflator with an, an improved uh, airway fiber optic laryngoscope so let's take that uh, this also is a in this case currently abhi ye sabse pehle hamare dimag mein ye idea aaya ki ha hum kuch aisa kar sakte hain we have got something that could be explored uh, in case of in patients with cleft lip palate what would be the second option second option is this the okay, we will, either we can create a drawing of this and file a patent directly okay so i uh, simultaneously i will keep my idea that uh, i created only for this uh, talk uh, only okay, we we are seeing that there are two different type of bottles one bottle which uh, we are using historically plastic bottle and right now jo pvc bag aata hai dono ke cost mein practically speaking jitna cost mein pvc bag aata hai utne cost mein ye pura bottle aa jata hai so difference kya tha what was the limiting factor one limiting broad limiting factor was actually uh, which uh, the pvc bag persons used to tell that as their benefit is ki the uh, after some time because uh, plastic bottle is not collapsible so after some time the fluid administration rate of fluid administration reduces and one has to insert a needle on the top portion that can create a chance of infection also and uh, many times uh, there is leakage from the 
lower portion which the, where the drip set is being fixed so these are the things to tell the advantage of this now i have i am floating an idea i know that uh, someone say that uh, how a big joke because this is just a jugaad ke i want to add a self obliterating rubber cap over it when needed a blunt needle can be passed through that this is a drawing that uh, i want to mention ab isko sir ke idea pe recapitulate karte hain that whenever you have some idea you just create a pencil drawing of that thing or that thing okay and use simple colors for that afterwards you can hire any professional uh, means artist who can create actually your uh, drawing into a 3d drawing or even for filing a patent you not need that 3d drawing you just need a simple this uh, artwork by which you can file a patent okay but definitely you have got a figures you have got proper conceptualization by which uh, when you file patent someone can read that what you want to mention okay so uh, like jaise ye maine isme banaya ki sir if uh, any idea has uh, sir has on uh, any idea in his brain just make uh, this uh, sort of pencil drawing okay and afterwards what uh, are you you are think hey, i have made this thing i have idea check for duplicacy on the google you just go and search that uh, if uh, it might be uh, possible that currently if such a uh, thing not available but in the past is wo- it was available and it was withdrawn because of this or the thing which you are thinking is actually available in some other country so definitely uh, there are possibility so Uh, make a base detail search of your uh, concept and uh, if you find that there is nothing like this then definitely you are ready for two options either option 1 or option 2 okay means you can file the patent directly or you can hire the manufacturer now second step if you have got uh, yeah, you found that uh, item was there or something is there abhi bhi na hatash hone ki zarurat nahi is you don't need to get disappointed you think that how can you make your instrument or your device more you uh, means uh, more uh, modifiable or more important than the thing which is available in the market currently as i have said that till now most of the our anesthesia and critical industry is engineer driven is these people don't know that like what uh, we want to use and uh, we use we are bound to use them because we don't have anything other available so as i said ki file a patent file a potential manufacturer and apply for a grant so abhi jo sir ne jaise abhi wing language ko blade ka unhone ek naam de diya for filing a patient i need to have a name for the device abhi hamare paas name hai but hamare paas uska drawings available nahi hai we have got drawings also then we have got two things and third thing i need to have some claims which uh, my idea used to say that i have got uh, this uh, these claims like in uh, my case that i claim that air feeder when activated maintains the driven force of infusion i claim that air feeder contains plastic bottle maintains the constant flow rate aur fir uske baad main ek fees pay karunga tab mera patent ka application file hoga but isme about the means satisfaction for me is that now i have got something on the board the and i by what i can search the potential manufacturer ओके बट अभी भी इसमें क्या होता है अभी यू विल फाइंड माय आइडिया दैट हाँ बहुत अच्छा आइडिया है तो बट मैं एक मैन्युफैक्चरर के पास जाता हूँ बिकॉज डेफिनेटली नो नो वन इज गोइंग टू मैन्युफैक्चर दैट बोटल और दैट मेरिंगोस्कोप और दैट एयर कंडीशन पीपी के पास है दैम सेल्फ ही सेज दैट कि ये आपने जो ऊपर रबड़ का कैप लगा दिया है ये तो मेरे लिए पॉसिबल ही नहीं है क्योंकि इससे तो मेरी पैकिंग खराब हो जाएगी मीन्स मैं सारी बोटल्स को सीधा पैक करता हूँ आई नीड द बेसल सरफेस और लोअर पोर्शन फ्री ऑफ एनी कनेक्शन और एनी थिंग दैट मे डेमेज द बोटल एक्चुअली तो अब आपको लगेगा कि आपने इतना मेहनत किया और आप तो बिल्कुल वापस से उसी जमीन पे आ गए कि ये कह रहा है और आप तीन मैनुफेक्चर के पास और जाते हैं तो इस तरह के जो बिजनेस प्रोस्पेक्ट होते हैं जो मशीनरी प्रॉब्लम होती है वो सबकी एक जैसी होती है वो भी कहता है कि नहीं ये तो बिल्कुल ही पॉसिबल नहीं है तो अब आप वो आपसे कहता है कि आप इसको ऊपर की जगह नीचे लगा दो अब आप सोचते हो कि मैंने तो पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन फाइल किया हुआ है अब मैं क्या करूंगा तो इसलिए ऑप्शन टू जो रहता है कि फाइन अ पोटेंशियल मैन्युफैक्चरर ओके एंड ये भी बैड ऑप्शंस नहीं है पर्टिकुलरली फॉर आ सीनियर लेवल पर्सन और पर्टिकुलरली फॉर आ पर्सन हुए
तो और फाइनेंशियली भी ये ज्यादा वायबल ऑप्शन है अर्न आर लॉर्ड यूजिंग दिस ऑप्शन ओनली तो हाउ यू डू दिस थिंग यू फ्लोट योर आइडिया दैट आई वोट दिस लैंग्वेज को लाइक न्यू मोडिफाइबल लैंग्वेज को सो यू फ्लोट दिस आइडिया इन वेरियस नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसिस and uh, don't disclose that idea by now the users say that i have got something uh, which could uh, which can uh, overcome the disadvantage of this thing or uh, which actually become more productive you will definitely find the companies interesting your work kyunki unhe bhi paisa kamana hai unko ye lagta hai ki agar ye mere ko maine ho sakta hai inko koi aur le le okay shortlist that companies and afterwards sign a non disclosure agreement there's a second legal uh, formality that i am going to put over here non disclosure agreement is governed by indian contract act and according to it uh, the non disclosure agreement is a legal bond in contract to ensure the further validity and enforceability of the nda it is suggested to stamp the nda aapne kya kiya ek 100 rupaye ke stamp pe ya 10 rupaye ke stamp pe ek agreement kiya ki sahab aap main bhi jo bhi aapko bataunga wo aap kisi ko disclose nahi karoge aur meri bina permission ke aap is pe koi product nahi banaoge okay Always exchange NDA and other document on official mail. अब वो जो कंपनी का पर्सन है नंबर ऑफ आर एन डी पर्सन ऑफ दैट कंपनी ओके से फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको एनेस्थेटिक्स का बंदा मिलता है उससे आप लैंग्वेज को बनवाना चाहते हो तो टेक द नंबर आर एन डी पर्सन नंबर और टेक द ऑफिशियल ई मेल आई डी ऑफिशियल ई मेल आई डी के आगे जी मेल नहीं लगा होगा उसके आगे लगा होगा प्रकाश एट द रेट एनेस्थेटिक्स डॉट कॉम okay that is the official mail id that is a legal and sign a non disclosure agreement afterwards float your that drawing to the company okay ho sakta hai unko pehli drawing aapki pasand aa jaye learning usko ki ho sakta hai unko pehli drawing aapki pasand na aaye ab wo aapse bole ki isme agar aisa kar dete to kya karenge aur second thing wo hamesha manufacturer aapse chahta hai ki humne product bana diye because they they for creating a die or a 3d imprint of any laryngoscope cost around 40 to 50000 jo iska 3d print hoga aur die banane mein kharcha aata hai kareeban 30 se 35 lakh rupaye ka to itna kharcha wo karne ke liye wo potentially pehle aapka dekhega ki definitely ye sahi hai ya nahi hai aur ho sakta hai usme wo kuch aisa correction advise kare ki jo aapko feasible na lage aur ho sakta hai aisa correction advise kare jo financially us product ko viable kar de कि करेंट डाई में वो एक मॉडिफिकेशन करके एड ऑन उसमें वो बना ले और आपका भी वर्क हो जाए जो आप चाहते हो वो भी हो जाए ठीक है एंड एंड द ईमेल विद अ नोट आप लोगों के पास भी मेल आते होंगे कई में लिखा रहता है लास्ट में कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी एंड और प्रोपराइटी इंफॉर्मेशन मीन्स बाय दिस टाइम वंस यू आर ऑन नॉन डिस्कलोजर एग्रीमेंट बाय द टाइम यू either you mention that uh, i will am i will be this company had no objections that i'll share this uh, idea with someone else agar aap logo ne aisa nahi kiya agreement mein to by the time aapka us company ka tie up nahi rehta to aap bhi kisi dusre ko disclose nahi kar sakte hain us cheez ko means you can't disclose that idea to someone else okay if you you have got uh, means you are satisfied with the terms and you uh, 3D imprint code ready and you check that uh, device and you are satisfied the working of that device then you can say that i can go ahead with the agreement and the part of this mutual agreement see till now patent hasn't been filed so part of the mutual agreement could be that we can file the patent jointly and the fees for filing patent would be borne by the company itself or uh, the agreement could be for 15 years for lifetime for some time or um, you can means clear uh, th- the things ke that that would be my fees and um, for uh, designing this thing you can have the both the options the uh, royalty that would be based on the sale of actual number of pieces or one time transfer or one time settlement okay so likely you can go so now you can see that here till now i want paid means aapka jo doctor has ki jaise sir ne agar language ko banaya to sir ko abhi tak ek bhi paisa kharch nahi karna pada aur sir abhi isa kon ko hatti mein gaye unko ek manufacturer unhone hire kiya by january march the product got ready okay and by through approaching through patent it will take uh, 2024 end or 
ट्वेंटी फाइव बिगनिंग की सर के पास पेटेंट सर्टिफिकेट आता है उसके बाद वो मैन्युफैक्चर ढूंढते हैं और हो सकता है तब तक ये चीज मार्केट में आ जाए सो दिस इज हाउ वी यूज टू प्रोसीड टू एंड टू डिफरेंट मेज द पॉइंट इज सेम दैट we want something uh, patent on our name and we want something financially viable also and we want the product as innovation not as invention okay agar abhi tak keval wo ek learning scope ka piece banta ho aur wo use nahi hota that will be called as invention but now once it is in the market and is being used by people then it's a innovation so अब नाउ द थर्ड ऑप्शन द बिग वन ग्रांट्स दैट सर वॉन्ट्स दैट दिस इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग एंड डेफिनेटली आई विल वर्क ऑन दिस दिस कैन चेंज द होल एयरवे सिनेरियो सो द ऑप्शन ओवर हेयर इज टू थिंग्स आईसीएमआर एंड बायरेक बायरेक इज बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इंडस्ट्री रिसर्च असिस्टेंस काउंसिल these are the designated bodies for the same icmr you is uh, difficult to get the grant definitely uh, for uh, this uh, medical innovations they are easy it's easy to get the extra mural and intermural research funds but in birec it's basically meant for the same this is the birec website okay with, uh, you will find the one webinar yahan par bhi ho raha hai aaj so this is the www.birec.nic.in and this is the icmr website in the birec website you can see that uh, over this uh, ip tt and afterwards call for proposals just click that link and you will find many calls for the proposals okay these are the and many times will find that the number of applications are less than the number of grants available okay in the uh, last uh, i don't remember that somewhere i mentioned that there were uh, around uh, 50 out of 50 grants only 18 were awarded out of 25 applications so once you uh, you feel that your uh, product is uh, viable and uh, everything it's uh, you will be able to uh, file the grant and uh, in the grant uh, you will get yourself connected to the incubator also means the startups and the companies jo ki aap jo ki aap khud to usko banaoge nahi definitely उन ये डायरेक्ट में ही आपको अपने इंक्यूबेटर और उसका नाम देना पड़ेगा तो आपके पास अपने आप वो आने लगेंगे सो हेयर बाय द टाइम ऑप्शन टू आई गॉट द मनी सर गॉट द मनी इन द बाय फरवरी उनको एक अच्छा सा रॉयल्टी मिल जाता है और अगर वो पेटेंट पहले फाइल करते हैं तो ऑलमोस्ट अगर हम अटोर्नी से फाइल कराते हैं तो फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वुड भी अराउंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इज पेटेंट फाइलिंग फीस आफ्टर Words fifteen thousand would be the uh, uh, sorry I'm wrong thirty thousand would be the patent filing fees and fifteen thousand is the uh, fees for filing examination report and subsequent uh, query resolving fees is also around ten thousand means uh, it's uh, you will you have to spend around sixty seventy thousand for getting a patent okay in option two you will uh, get the if you the if you get the right manufacturer. these expenses will be borne by the manufacturer also they have got uh, legal uh, solutions available with them and option 3 definitely we got something very good so on always go for the grant okay there is no problem in applying for the grant it's very easy and the government of india is helping out so always go for the grant because that grant also adds to your cv ki uh, this is the grant that i am uh, i am uh, i am working on this la last uh, and uh, the best option that now suppose sir has manufactured the langoscope is available in the market so he can publish his work that uh, will provide him fame at not only at national level but at international level he can publish the you know his innovation work in various international journal bmj innovation and a and a practice are two very good journals that used to publish the critical care innovations and uh, anesthesia innovations bmj innovation actually publish any sort of innovation so one thing that uh, is not necessarily that uh, innovation should be a equipment or instrument even a app can be a innovation even a software can be a innovation okay means uh, you can have app uh, for regarding anything like twitter is a app or whatsapp is a app okay so anything could be innovation that uh, that is being utilized by someone for or actually helping someone
So the one one question was arising in the chat box. That is an important question uh, related to point two. If the manufacturer suggests improvement to the product, then do they have to share the it in the patent too, sir? If you go for option two, then definitely you don't. Uh, uh, you are going for a patent only after the manufacturer signage along with the active participation of the same. But for option one, definitely if you have. Uh, some uh, modification came, then you have to file an amendment in the patent application, and again you have to pay a required fees for the same. So, concluding, it's worth to mention that if trial is the tip of the iceberg, most of the us used to say that may ye drug ka trial kar raho, may wo drug ka trial kar raho. Designing protocol is the base of that iceberg. We usually, many of our seniors used to design protocol. I think a uh, few of uh, are in the member uh, of the, this webinar also. So designing protocol is the base of that iceberg. <clears throat> then innovation is the ocean where iceberg is floating. Okay, there is no limit for any innovation, for anything like few days back, we don't have any Zoom available. time system हम किसी भी जगह अपने टीवी वगैरह कहीं से वो अभी भी फैसिलिटी है कि हम जो सोच भी नहीं सकते हो वो चीज आ जाए कि सो वर्तु में सो विद अ प्रॉपर कंसीडरेशन ऑफ नोवेल आइडियाज एंड टीम अप्रोच वन कैन इनोवेट मेनी डिवाइसेस दैट कैन एक्चुअली बी हेल्पफुल फॉर देम एंड फॉर द सोसाइटी आल्सो सो दिस इज द फिगर वेयर नवीन मल्होत्रा सर इज एक्चुअली दिस इज अ मार्केट लॉन्च ऑफ बेनेस सर्किट दैट वाज परफॉर्म बाय नवीन मल्होत्रा सर एंड आवर ऑनरेबल President Sir in uh, ISA Con Ahmedabad 2021. And thanking you. So I've got a uh, few questions, a uh, few jugars in this. Use, using a smaller ET tube as a tube introducer while making intubation through <coughs> intubating LMA, I'm definitely. I think Dr. Anshul will take up that later on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can listen to Mr. Prag more. Ah, sure, sure, sir. And then we will do the discussions. Yeah, sure, sir. I think ah. Parag has also joined, sir. Monica. Uh, Parag? Yes, uh, over to you, Nishant. Yes, sir. Uh, Hi, welcome. Monica and Nishant, please. Yes, sir. And so the next... Uh, uh, next uh, Sir, could you please stop sharing, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I stopped. Yes, sir. So uh, after this talk, uh, we have the next uh, talk by Dr. Uh, Mr. Parag More, uh, and it will be about uh, patents. And uh, Mr. Parag is the managing partner of uh, More and Kadam Legal Associates, and uh, he's currently the advocate and intellectual property laws and cyber laws consultant. So that is important for us. Uh, he's manager IPR at a pharmaceutical research uh, based company and was handling all their patent related issues. He provides uh, consulting services to clients from uh, diversified interests, right from well-known big companies, pharma companies and engineering companies, as well as individual inventors and uh, even academicians, professors and researchers to students. He also teaches law and science in the various universities. Mr. Parag Moret. Thank you for the kind introduction, sir. Very glad. Am I, am I audible clearly? Yes, yes, you are audible, sir. Could you, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm very much glad to be here in front of you. All the doctors are there in this uh, session. And uh, I will try my best to explain you the patent procedure. So, in simple words, I will take you through the patent procedure as I have been given almost uh, half an hour. We'll try to accommodate our session within that. Uh, can I share my uh, screen with you? Please, please, please. yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so basically, Dr. Anshul Jain has already explained to you the patent system and what can be patented. So without uh, taking much time, We'll just tell you that patents can be granted for any type of products or processes which are novel and have inventive step. So before going for patent, what you should check if whether it has novelty. Novelty means per se the idea or the product or process which are going to be file patent 
whether it has been reported anywhere in the world either in literature or the commercially product available if it is available then it doesn't have any novelty and if it is not reported or not available across the globe then you can go for a uh, patent filing if the rest of the two criteria are fulfilling i will stress on this point that novelty should be checked globally many a times people ask if hey, sir it is not available in india it is available in other countries but not in india so that is not a criteria whenever we talk about novelty aspect we have to check novelty across the globe okay the second criteria is non obviousness uh, always remember patent is a problem to solution approach you get patent in the forms of product or process monopoly over your product or process but first of all you have to mention in the patent document that what was the problem what lead to develop the invention and after that you have to mention what solution you are you have in you are providing to solve that problem so either it can be a product or process so simply patent is product sorry problem to solution approach so if the solution which you are providing is a novel then you can you should check for another aspect whether it is non obvious if it is obvious one then you may not get patent granted obviousness is the another criteria third criteria is industrial applicability the product or process shall have quality or characteristic that it should be capable of using or producing in industry if it is a product then it should be capable of <coughs> used in industry or it can be produced in industry similarly process should have capability to be used in the industry so if you have combination of all these the three things the criteria should go for patent filing i will simply explain you the criteria for patent filing uh, or the novelty aspect can you see my screen can you see this pencil and uh, this thing uh patentability criteria just yes, we can see we can see the patents granted to invention uh, yeah yes yes we can see the pencil yeah yeah so simply put if i want to file patent on the ink pen how shall i go about first of all i will determine the novelty so for determining novelty i will check the prior arts and i will come to know that <coughs> the prior art talks about the feathers the ink bottle and the feather then pencil and my invention is about the ink pen so what i will do i will first look at the problem what was the problem problem was to have an ink pen a permanent uh, a device to have permanent writing when you write with pencil it can be rubbed out correct you can wipe it out or you can <coughs> remove it with the help of eraser secondly if you try to write with feather it is inconvenient so i will mention all the problems which were associated with the earlier products and then i will mention about my product how my product is better than the earlier one it has good grip to hold compared to feather and it provides a permanent writing right so this is the solution which i have have been given <coughs> again another example suppose mr x invented an ink pen for the first time in the world and he produced it in yellow color now mr y came with an ink pen in red color for first time look at the prior art prior art was ink pen in yellow color and what is the latest product a ink pen with red color now first question whether it has novelty whether the red color pen has novelty the answer is it has novelty why because i am stressing on the point that red color earlier the pen was available ink pen was also available but it was in yellow color nobody produced it in red color so it has novelty second question whether the red color pen has inventive step answer is no why if the pen can be produced in yellow color and if the red color was also available in market so it was quite obvious that a red color pen can also be manufactured right so you haven't changed the technology 
you haven't improved upon the technology it is mere alternative if somebody is uh, if somebody prefer red color than yellow then it is better option for him but technology wise it is not different it is just novel but it is not inventive correct third third question whether the patent can be granted to mr y for new colored pen answer is no why it fulfills first criteria of novelty but it doesn't fulfill the second criteria of inventive step right so this is very simple it, this is difference between novelty and inventive step in very simple language you have to first analyze what is the novel aspect of your invention here only red color was the novel aspect correct technology wise it was same product second question whether it is inventive or it is obvious the answer was obvious because red color was already available anybody can produce the pen in red color second example again the priority same mr x invented ink pen for first time in the world and he has produced it in yellow color now mr y came up with a ballpoint pen with red color for first time whether it is novel yes it is novel why it has two novelty aspects one is red color another one is ballpoint pen whether red color pen has inventive step yes it has inventive step also how technologically it is different and it is a better product than the ink pen no ink leakage and you can refill it correct ink pen is also refillable but you have it is complex mechanism and ballpoint pen is simpler you have to just remove that refill and you have to put that another refill secondly there is no ink leakage as compared to ink pen when you write with ink pen there is there there is possibility that ink flow may be uneven and your paper may get uh, stains of the ink so ballpoint pen is better and the technology wise also it is different so it has inventive step also now can a patent grant awarded to mr y for new color pen for new color pen it may not he may not get patent why color is common thing it is obvious but can a patent grant be awarded to mr y for ballpoint pen yes it is a new technology so patent will get granted for ballpoint pen so again going back to our main topic the timelines and okay. okay now whenever you intend to file patent what you do you check patent literature and non patent literature and if you are convinced that no similar technology is available in patents or prior art you proceed further for checking inventive step correct and once you are convinced that inventive step is also there means the novel aspect lead to betterment in product or process and solve any problem then you go to patent office and you disclose your invention to patent office by patent specification so patent specification is a draft of your invention in particular format that is been prescribed under the patent law and who will draft patent for you yourself can also draft patent if you have knowledge of patent system and earlier experience of patent prosecution if you want assistance then you can hire a patent agent or a patent attorney who would draft the specification in correct techno legal terms for you and he will also prepare other forms for you to file it in patent office what are the forms required okay uh, before going to other forms at what stage you should disclose your invention to patent office there is something called provisional specification and complete specification so what is the difference so check your invention if there is a scope for improvement if you have a concept ready and you have a primary prototype over it and if you believe that there is scope for improvement then you should go for provisional specification to block that concept in your name so you rush to patent office you file provisional specification you get an application number and a filing date and it is booked in your name you get 12 months period for doing further research and file a complete specification 
encompassing or accommodating all the improvements in it suppose there is another case if you check your invention and if you find it complete there is no further scope for improvement if you feel in all aspects my invention is fulfilling it is complete then directly go for complete specification so you file complete specification to patent office and again you get application number and the filing date now what kind of forms are necessary for filing patent application if you are going for provisional specification then form 1 is mandatory form 1 is application for patent form 2 is also compulsory that is a specification it may be provisional or it may be uh, complete specification third important form is declaration and undertaking regarding foreign application or foreign filing this is important whenever you file patent application you have to declare whether you have filed any patent application outside india if you have filed you have to give details and again you have to give undertaking that during till the time of grant of my patent i will keep patent office informed about all the foreign filings wherever in which whichever country i will file patent application apart from india i will intimate the patent office within a period of 6 months if i get any objection in that country i will intimate that to the patent office what is the necessity behind it to keep the patent office informed about the novelty and inventive step because searching prior art is not an easy task searching similar technology is like finding out a needle from a <coughs> जैसे बोलते हैं ना इससे गंजी से एक सुई ढूंढ के निकालना सो देर आर चांसेस दैट इंडियन पेटेंट ऑफिस मे मिस सडन प्रायर आर्ट विच माइट बी क्रुशियल फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ योर पेटेंट और गिविंग ऑब्जेक्शन टू योर पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन सो दे हैव दे मैंडेटेड यू टू गिव द पेटेंट डिटेल्स विच हैव बीन फाइल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया एंड यू हैव टू कीप पेटेंट ऑफिस इन्फॉर्म अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट विच यू हैव रिसीव आउटसाइड द कंट्री to check the patent granted in india should have quality and it should be correctly granted correct then the, these are the essential things for filing provisional specification form 1 application for patent form 2 specification form 3 is declaration and undertaking regarding foreign filing when you file complete specification then the form is form 5 is mandatory form 5 is declaration of inventorship you have to declare who are the inventors it may happen that when you file provisional specification there are one or two inventors correct and when you go for complete during that period you take assistance of somebody uh, during last session or while dr anshul jain was uh, speaking somebody asked one question if the manufacturer or the collaborator suggest to me any improvement in my invention whether he will have rights in my patent it completely depends on the relationship and the mou which you sign amongst yourself but if he suggest you something then he becomes an inventor for that particular part so while filing complete specification you have to add his name to the patent application as an inventor for that matter you have to file form 5 and you have to mention all the inventor details who are the inventors in this application you have to mention them correct then form 9 is optional form what is form 9 whenever you file patent application it will get published after the 18 months period sometimes it is requirement of the client or the applicant that my application should get published earlier than that so if you want your application to be published before 18 months you should go for form 9 so there is a fees associated with this form and if you want your application to be published earlier then form 9 is essential then form 18 is compulsory form what is form 18 it is request for examination so patent office doesn't examine your application unless and until you pay for the examination fees and to pay examination fees <coughs> form 18 is required so form 18 means request for examination so now we will take the we will look at the examination flow or before that i will show you the module if you are going to file patent application online 
this is the login which patent office offers this is my personal login it is my attorney login basically because i am an advocate or patent agent who file patents for his clients so you can see my name mentioned here and i file patent application through this login id which has been given to me now you can see here at left side corner there are options given whichever form i want to file i click on that form i fill the information i upload the physical form or, or the pdf of that form and then i move ahead i apply my digital signature digital signature means not the scanned signature digital signature is a software code which has been given by few companies digital signature a dsc offering companies and you get your digital signature personal digital signature which you require for e filing now again going back the timelines just give me one second ha ah. so using my portal i have filed my application i have filed complete specification suppose you file previously pre provisional specification then within 12 months you have to file complete otherwise your application will get abandoned what is the difference between provisional and complete provisional means you have prototype but there is a scope for improvement then you go for provisional and within 12 months you do all your research work completed and you go for complete one again so you have to file complete again sometimes you already have all the data all the information and there is no further scope for improvement then you directly file complete specification only if you have filed complete specification in either case then only your application will be processed further otherwise it will not get published also so for publication it is mandatory to have filed complete specification provisional will not get published and the file will be closed if you fail to file complete specification correct now i have filed my application i have applied for early publication also what will happen my application will get published i need to file request for examination the time period for filing request for examination is 4 years from the date of filing my application so i can immediately file my request for examination on the same day on which i am filing uh, application for patent or i can file it within a 4 years period earlier i go to patent office and file request for examination my patent would be examined earlier because they go by queue whoever filed earlier than you they will examine there first so it is always advisable to file request for examination as early as possible if you want patent to be granted in shorter period there is something called expedite examination also now when you file patent application uh by adding one lady applicant or there is a ladies lady applicant at least one lady applicant in your patent application you get chance to expedite your examination under women empowerment scheme so for that purpose you have to pay some additional amount patent office and they will put your exam application on expedite track if you don't want to add any lady applicant to your application then there is another option you can file pcd application international application and you can have patent office as searching authority there so they conduct your search within one or three months you get search report and using that you can expedite your indian application here also you have to file pcd application first and here also you have to pay the additional money to patent office that, uh, which is fees for expediting your application now what happens i will take you to the first slide now these are the timelines patent application is filed it will get published after 18 months if you if you have file form 9 it will get published earlier than that now after publication of patent it is available for general public to check the details of your invention by visiting patent office site they can download each and every document and if they want to file opposition to your patent then they can file opposition it is called representation the time period for opposing any patent grant is from publication till the grant of patent correct so your patent application once published it is free for public to check it and if they want to file opposition they can file opposition to it after that if you have filed examination request for examination then patent office will start examining it 
if somebody has filed opposition to your patent application, they will take that into consideration. If nobody has filed opposition, they will conduct independently their search and they will send you examination report. Correct? If there is there are no objections, if there is nothing objectionable, then your patent will get accepted and patent will be granted. If there is objectionable subject matter, if they, if they feel that it is it lacks novelty or it lacks inventive step or there is section 3 which talks about non-patentable things. If they feel that it is objectionable under section 3, then they will put it uh, and then they will object it and they will give you examination report with the objections. Now, your task it is to retaliate to those objections. You have to submit reply to those objections within six months period. So once you get examination report, you have to file examination reply within six months period and your uh, reply, if it is satisfactory, then patent will get granted. You can do some modifications or amendments to comply with the objection. If it gets accepted, the patent will get granted. If after filing reply to objection, the, the patent office feels that it is not acceptable, they will put it for hearing and they will offer you hearing in which you either personally or through your attorney or advocate can represent before the patent office. And you can argue your matter before patent office and you can convince them why it is patentable. You can give references of case laws which have been decided by Supreme Court or High Courts and you can tell them that this is grantable subject matter and your objection is not applicable here and in written, you can give your submissions in writing. If he is convinced at that stage of hearing, the patent will get granted. So, from the time of publication till grant, opposition period is there. Anybody can file opposition to that. If opposition is received, you have to file reply to that opposition also. After grant, what will happen? Again, your patent would be published in patent office journal. This time, it would be published as granted patent. Earlier, the application get published. Now, the patent grant would get published. And after grant of patent, there is a 12 months window period in which a person interested can again file opposition. What is, who is person interested? A person carrying out similar type of business or is involved in similar type of research is called person interested. Similar type of research means the subject matter pertaining to your invention. So if you can identify the differences, Earlier, pre-grant opposition can be filed by anybody. Any person can go for pre-grant opposition. But once the patent gets granted, only the person who are interested in your invention, based if they are carrying out business in similar type of technology, or if they are doing research in similar type of technology, those people can only file the opposition in post-grant opposition period. Correct? If somebody file opposition, then there is constitution of opposition board and opposition board submits reports to the controller and then you uh, your evidences their evidences then hearing so it is a long procedure and after the opposition is decided the patent would either be maintained or it would be revoked Achha. patent grant means uh, not uh, after patent grant also you have to pay some, some fees and that is the renewal fees now we will go to the fees section what is the filing fees and what is the maintenance fees for the patent? Okay. This is the patent certificate, which is usually granted. You can check the patent number is mentioned, the application number is mentioned, the date of filing is mentioned, the patent name is mentioned, and patent is granted for 20 years. 20 years from the date of filing, not from the date of grant. So it is advisable to go for examination as early as possible because your patent period starts from the date of filing, not from the grant. So from filing date, 20 years is the patent period. Now, the fees for filing application for patent, that is form one, the fees <coughs> is only 1600. 1600 for an individual person or a group of people, two or three people. But when it comes to 
a company or a business house the fees is 5 times so for companies the fees is 8000 rupees for natural person the fees is 1600 rupees in which a 30 page document is allowed 30 pages means your form 230 pages you can have 30 pages document and 10 claims without any additional fees if the page number exceeds beyond 30 then each page would, would be charged 160 rupees and if the claims exceeds uh, uh, number 10 Then each additional claim would be charged three twenty rupees. Form three doesn't carry any fees. Form five doesn't have any fees. Form nine, which is optional form, it has fees of two thousand five hundred rupees for natural person. If it is a company, then it is five times twelve thousand five hundred is the fees. Form eighteen, the request for examination fees is four thousand rupees for natural person and five times for the company that is twenty thousand. If you are going for expedite examination, then the fees is eight thousand for natural person and sixty thousand six zero thousand is for company. So your patent application can be filed at the cost of five thousand six hundred. If you are going for regular examination, sixteen hundred for form one, two thousand five hundred. Sorry. A four thousand rupees is form eighteen. These are the compulsory fees. You cannot evade this, or you cannot skip this fees. Correct. Additionally, if you want to get it published earlier, add two thousand five hundred rupees into it. If you want to get it granted expeditely, then add four thousand rupees. So, if you go for expedite examination, the fees is twelve thousand one hundred for natural person altogether. Correct. Now, maintenance fees. After grant of patent, you have to pay. Yearly renewal fees. Fees is applicable from the third year and it is till twentieth year. You can pay in advance. You can pay fees for multiple years in advance also. This is the okay. This is the filing fees as I explained: sixteen hundred, two thousand five hundred, and four thousand rupees. You can see here. Correct. Now, what is the fees for renewal? I will take take the questions. Just give me a second. Fees for natural person to renew a patent eight hundred rupees per year for third to sixth sixth year. After sixth year, the fee your slot would be changed, and for seven to tenth year, the fee is two thousand four hundred per year. Eleven to fifteen, the fee is four four eight zero zero, and sixteen to twenty year it is eight thousand. Fees for regular company you can check it is five times. Correct. So I hope I have explained you the fees also and the procedure also. Yes, yes. So, this is the. This was about the procedure, and the fees. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I will answer those. I believe we are in time, right, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sure that that is a very very interesting uh, session, and I I assure you that it will be viewed many times in the YouTube. uh by people who want uh, to file patents uh navin sir thank you very much uh, dr anshul and uh, mr parag for that interactive session and i'm very sure it will be useful but now it's my pleasure to invite the uh, chairpersons for the interactive discussions which are going to have uh, we have amongst us dr j balavetkar subramaniam uh, the gc member isa national and a very well known reputed academician uh, in india uh, from ganga hospital we have got dr uh, bk dulkade sir from uh, kims uh, karad and sir is uh, very very interested uh, in innovations we got dear doc dear dr vikash patwa uh, from uh, vadodara he is also numerous patents to his name and dr vishal singla from gurugram who is also actively involved in uh, new and innovative ideas i request all the panelists and chair persons to please uh, keep their videos on and uh, so that we can uh, have our Uh, discussions dr dulgate sir and uh, welcome dr balavankar dr dulgate dr peksh and dr vishal and uh, now we can interact uh, with dr anshul and dr pragmore but before that i'll request uh, each of you to say a few words uh, starting with dr balavankar sir please uh thank you dr navin uh, good evening to everyone i would uh, term this session as extremely interesting and very important uh, because 
when we want India to be seen globally, it becomes very, very important to get innovative ideas, innovative uh, equipments patented and make sure the world sees uh, India as an uh, innovator. And uh, I think the talk was, uh, both the talks were uh, very informative and very lucid. Now my, uh, I think uh, I'll wait for the other panelists to uh, introduce themselves and then we'll have a few questions uh, to discuss. Uh, Dr. Dulkit, a uh, few comments from your side. And Dr. Desh Pandey has sent a message, you will be joining shortly. Sir, you have to unmute yourself, Dr. Dulkit, sir. Dr. Dulkit, you have to unmute yourself. Thank you, Dr. Malhotra. Uh, congratulations for conducting a very informative session on innovation, very important. Way back in uh, Gadag CME, uh, Dr. Balvaskar asked sometimes what uh, new things can be done. I suggested uh, one innovative uh, this thing session can be done in the conference and one prize was instituted, award was instituted for uh, innovation and it has come a long way. And uh, from that, uh, especially under the leadership of uh, Dr. Malhotra and the present office bearers. Uh, so, uh, but I suggest uh, one thing that uh, ISA National should have a patent cell that is, uh, uh, so to say, oh, innovative and patent and uh, manufacturing assistant cell uh, with uh, such uh, eminent people and wonderful people heading that. So that uh, people are not uh, uh, giving, coming out with their ideas. And uh, they, they have sometimes uh, done a lot of innovations, but they have not come out uh, uh, such a patenting or manufacturing uh, thing like that. So to assist them, we should have uh, one uh, national level and uh, it should have, uh, we have got a lot of uh, industries and uh, IITs and uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, so many institutes of excellence. And uh, even uh, we have gone to Mars and we have, gone, we have got so much uh, technology and uh, uh, so to say uh, these things. And all these things should be made use of in our uh, medical field. As you said, uh, uh, Dr. Jain has told, uh, so many billions are going out of the country because of this and 80% we are importing. So, so much uh, foreign uh, this thing can be saved uh, because if you, if you utilize all our uh, Indian resources, India is not lacking in uh, intellectual uh, uh, resources. And uh, these things have to be channelized into manufacturing or uh, uh, these areas. We have got all technologies, wonderful. Uh, top of the <clears throat> thing, technologies are there. And uh, see, uh, since 5,000 years, uh, we have got uh, innovations and the whole world has benefited from that. Shushrutta, for example, uh, invented so many instruments and the whole surgery uh, use that uh, technology and they are coming up. So we have got uh, Raman, Raman effect, spectroscopy. Uh, this is being used in everywhere, including in our, uh, uh, so to say, measuring our uh, um, entitled uh, um, uh, gas levels and all that. So <clears throat> we have got the technology, but we have to channelize into that. That is number one. And uh, second thing is, uh, uh, this uh, Dr. Jain and uh, our uh, eminent speaker in uh, uh, patent rights and all that he told, there is a difference between patent and copyright, I think, so. I, I feel. Copyright, uh, any book, monograph, or even perform of our research that we do, and a video presentation, and uh, apps, software apps, they have to be copyrighted, I feel. I don't know whether it's enlightened on that. So all these things have to be copyrighted because people don't know so many things about this. We are uh, uh, lacking knowledge. Most of the uh, anesthesiologists and medical people lack this knowledge. And this is one of the wonderful sessions which will give throw light on that. And it should be widely published. That's what I feel. Thank you once again, Dr. all the speakers and uh, Dr. Malotra. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dulkir, sir, for those 
uh, nice comments and inputs. Uh, that's why today's webinar was planned, sir, uh, about to and increase the awareness and knowledge. And this will be on IEC website also and IEC YouTube channel also, which has got subsequent views are much more than the live views. It runs into lakhs and lakhs. Recently, uh, we had a, uh, I'm happy to share with you. Yes, innovation has come a long way. We had a very successful Yuvacon on uh, 13th and 14th October at Gurugram. During that, the young minds we were interacting with them. And that's why we had this, uh, they gave us uh, the need that yes, we should be assisted in how to convert an idea into patent so that it is not hijacked also and it is not misused by others also, keeping their privacy and their uh, content safe with them and how to manufacture them and ultimately going up to the publications as well as going up to the revenue generation also in the form of marketing. For which I invite Dr. Pich Patwa because he has been doing all these things uh, since years and years. Over to you, Dr. Pich Patwa. Welcome. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Team ISA, uh, Dr. Malhotra, for selecting this topic. And uh, must congratulate uh, uh, Dr. Anshul and Parag, uh, Mr. Parag, for executing uh, this session uh, very effectively and informatively. Uh, so uh, considering the, where should be the role of IAS in this uh, innovation? So IAS should work uh, as a bridging part between the innovator to uh, marketers and uh, manufacturers. And how we should go ahead for that, we need a lot of discussion. We'll take a number of questions during the discussion, I think so, uh, because of lack of friend, we'll directly go to the discussion part. Uh, so should I start with a few questions uh, that I'm having for uh, Dr. More? Yeah, most welcome. You can go ahead. See, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, number of all, all uh, just uh, everybody can unmute themselves and express and directly interact amongst uh, ourselves and uh, put questions to Dr. Anshul Jain and Mr. Prabh. Yeah, see, most of the people are having confusion if they are filing a patent in India, whether this patent is valid for other countries. So there is a lot of confusion. So or they have to file a different patent for each countries, or whether they have filed a patent in other countries, say Europe. So that is valid in India or not? So there is that. I think uh, uh, Doctor Mr. Parag is best person to uh, clear this confusion. Okay, uh, I will explain you. The patents are territorial. Territorial means if you file patent in India, it would be valid across India only. It is not applicable beyond the borders of India. Similarly, a US patent cannot be enforced in India. A European patent cannot be enforced in India. So patents are only country-wise. And if you want to get patent in uh, multiple countries, you have to apply separately in those countries. There is one system called PCT, International Patent Application, in which rather than filing multiple applications in all the countries within 12 months, you can file single application to PCD and you get some time extension for applying patents outside the country in multiple jurisdictions. So time extension you can get, but there is not a single system which will grant you patent across the globe. Patents are granted country-wise and each country has its own patent office to check the merits of your invention and they will decide whether the patent will, be, will get granted in their country or not. Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Farag. Uh, so, the important uh, point and note for this is that see, if you have filed our patent in India and it is valid in India, so outside the country, the number of manufacturers are ready to manufacture that without patenting. So, they can stole, they can easily, our patent can be easily stolen by the outside country. So, if required you, uh, for a patent, you should file internationally. But the important thing is here is the cost of the patent if you file it internationally. I think I'm not aware of the cost of the patent. If you, if you want to file, that is, a, uh, as you mentioned by Mr. Parag, uh, international patent filing. What should be the cost? Sir, it is another good question. The cost and the economics and the uh, timelines. Now, if you file patent in India, first application in India, it is mandatory to file patent applications across the globe within 12 months period. So wherever you want to get patent granted in that country, you have to reach within 12 months. It is practically not possible in many cases, because if you want to go in China, 
Chinese translation would be required. If you want to go in Germany, German translation would be required. In fact, you don't know whether uh, you have market in uh, some of the countries. So what is the solution to that? As I said, there is a system called PCT, Patent Cooperation Treaty. Its office is at Switzerland. And it has been administered by WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. So India is signatory to that WIPO or uh, TRIPS agreement and through which you can file PCT application with these 12 months. Now, the fees for PCT application, which is also called international application. If you are natural person from India, if you're filing patent application in your name, then because India is developing country, you get 90% fee reduction in that PCT application. So currently, the application which we are filing for our clients who are natural person, after adding 90% discount, the US dollar around 140 to 170 is the rough estimate. The fees is between 140 to 170 USD. If you calculate in Indian currency, it is somewhere around 12,000 to 15,000 or 16,000. It is after getting rebate for natural person. So you have ample opportunities. You can file PCT application within 12 months. You get some time extension during which you can communicate with the probable buyers or the co-developers, collaborators in various countries. You can give reference number of your foreign application also. And if they are convinced, if they are ready to take it further, you can have sharing of your patent rights. So they can invest in your technology. They can invest in further prosecution of your application in that particular country. So this is economically very beneficial and time-wise also it is lucrative. Yeah. So for, yeah. Do we need to hire a lawyer for filing the international patent? And what, what should be the charges, total charges for that? Apart so, from the patent charges. Yeah. Fees depends. It varies from attorney to attorney, first of all. Secondly, whether to hire an attorney or not is absolutely your choice. Our experience is if you don't have experience in prosecuting patents, handling objections, if you don't know about the foreign filing systems, it is better to have hire an attorney who will work for you and he will assist you in all the steps, right from filing till grant of your application, again, filing international applications also. So an Indian attorney can file PCT application and he can give you international application number. Cost, as I said, it depends it varies from attorney to attorney and our fee structure is stage wise. So usually what we prefer, we go by stage wise structure. We first of all, we discuss the invention. If it is patentable, then we move ahead. If it is not patentable, we clearly tell the client, these are the problems. Because of these reasons, your patent may get rejected. We tell the solutions also. If the client is convinced and if he is ready to get that data, then he moves towards next step. So our fee structure is stage wise. You can exit at any point of time if you feel you cannot afford or if you cannot go ahead with the patentability. In person, in person, if somebody wants my fee schedule, I can share it in uh, a personal that, email. That, that I can is not the gambit of today's discussion. So that we will uh, carry it forward. Yeah. Topics, next question, please. Yeah, Dr. Dilgit, sir. Uh, what I feel is uh, to assist because uh, people are thwarted because so much... Uh, uh, steps are there, so many uh, complexities there in uh, patenting and all that. What I suggest is ISA should have a uh, patent office in Delhi, patent assistance, innovative assistance, manufacturing, one office in Delhi so that your patent office is in uh, Delhi and uh, anybody can approach and get assistance. That is what my suggestion is there. And another is copyright. What is the issue? Suppose uh, one, uh, somebody has developed an app. It should be copyrighted or it should be patented? Sir, your so first this... question answer is, there are four patent offices. Okay. One is Delhi, one is in Mumbai, one is in Chennai, okay. and another one is in Kolkata. So okay, jurisdiction okay. wise, uh, if you are from Mumbai, uh, Maharashtra, Goa, Gujarat, uh, Madhya Pradesh, then the jurisdiction is at Mumbai patent office. For North region, Delhi patent office is there for South Chennai. So there are four patent offices. And based on your jurisdiction, from which states you are, you have to file your patent application. Secondly, uh, uh, your question was about copyright. If you have developed an application software, then section three, which I have mentioned in my talk, it lists out certain 
things which are not patentable so software per se are not patentable software or app is nothing but a script in particular language computer language and for that purpose you have a, a option to file copyright application there and copyright application can be filed for software you have to provide source code and object code for getting copyright on that code thank you um, one question to dr uh, mr paraksha i just wanted to know because you are dealing with lot of patents and you will be having lot of clients who come to you uh, considering the the way the indians think which sector do you get the maximum amount uh, of patent being applied is it um, for example is it from the engineering background purely or do you also see business people or in other words my question is who are the clients whom you help the most this is just to know where is india going uh, sir we get lot of filing from mechanical engineering background people are innovating very much in devices not only medical devices but all kind of machines and devices secondly uh, herbal uh, kind of thing herbal formulae third is pharmaceutical industry your question was clientele so i have provided is not dengue ho gaya main bed rest pe hu okay our clientele is divided between patent filers and patent uh, uh, freedom to operate kind of thing many of the companies they want to launch their product in country india so they are interested into patent uh, portfolio analysis how many companies have patents on this subject matter and how can we bypass those and how can we develop our product and launch the product in market so pharmaceutical companies are also there lot of research is going on in pharmaceutical industry and of course the engineering background companies uh, one more question i mean actually a discussion point with dulkar sir so we we speak about sushruta we speak about yes, sir c b raman those are all history Yeah. but uh, what is the current generation doing is more important and if you see the consumable goods uh, when you take an intra iv line or a central line or the common things that we buy there is seems to be a huge difference between how it is the end product is from purely indigenously done versus which is coming from outside india so the point which i think i wanted to discuss is is it because of the cost or is it because of the the attitude or is it because that indian customers use whatever you give if the cost is low uh, what do you think is the um, what do you think is the opinion because i my biggest concern is we speak so Quality. much about about history but in the ground level we use most of it what we are using is manufactured outside india and there should be a reason for this and also as a as a buyer as an anesthesiologist first thing we ask is the cost and you want to go to the cheapest product so and also when you go to government institution if they want to buy an iv cannula they will ask for three coats and go for the lowest coat does this uh, harmful to the country in in preventing good products being manufactured in this country because you del- dwelt with this topic i thought i will ask you your opinion on this uh, so this is not this is not yeah. only related with the pharmaceutical product it is with uh, legal services also <laughs> this question is for dr professor dulked i think yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> dr bar venkat uh, 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 very true oh, very right in uh, telling that recently we used a uh, april catheter uh, thinking that uh, i ordered them uh, being manufactured in india but uh, they are all kinking you know so we are not uh, quality conscious so quality control should be there number one and uh, all these uh, premier research institutes they are not involving in the medical uh, uh, so to say uh, products and uh, material material side we have got so much uh, talent so much uh, uh, intellectuals are there and uh, all these premier they have got so much material uh, uh, research is going on so what i feel is all the premier institute drdo so far it was for 60 70 years it was totally uh, sleeping now it has woken up and producing so many things so it is the government policy also i have to 
change the government uh, mentality also that they have to focus on uh, medical uh, uh, science and medical instruments and uh, material, especially material uh, and all these things. But uh, we have talent, but we are not using that. That is what I feel. That is the main thing. All these things are separately working. There is no coordination and uh, uh, but government can play a great role and uh, our ISA also has to suggest to the government that uh, these are our medical bodies that these things uh, have to be looked into. Defense, so much uh, advanced is there and uh, fly, um, these uh, rocket science, so much advanced is there. No, sir, we are uh, talking uh, about, no, 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 we are talking purely about something related to us. What we use in general and uh, that is why a, is that we, no, so the, the point is, um, the, mis, the mis, I think the mistake is not with the manufacturing unit. The mistake is with yeah. the clients. We always want the cheapest product, cheap, cheap, ah, cheap, cheap. So I think the mentality we need to change for India to produce good products because they need to have consumers. And the, if the consumers are, are very particular about the quality, then money doesn't come in, in between. So I think rather than they changing, I think we need to change. I think this is my yeah. humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Dr. Dulkit, sir, I personally agree with Dr. Balavankar because we all are working in institutes or in big hospitals. This concept of going for the L1, the lowest one, will arise only if we are very, very stringent in making the specifications. See, the, the, the work doesn't start at the evolution of the cost base. The work starts at the evolution of the technical base. So we should have this change in our mentality that we are not going to go for something less than the best. We have, that, to, we have to go for the best. And this attitude has to be changed amongst our own anesthesiologists only. But why we should settle for second best? Definitely, that, once we start using that product, the cost in, initially is high, but subsequently comes down. But those who are in the policy making state or those who are generating the demands, whether it is the government hospital or the private hospital, they should, I think Dr. Balavankar will agree with me, they should settle for nothing less than best. Yeah, I, I fully agree with you because only once we go with this tendency that more people will produce good products. Yes. Otherwise, they will say in Indian market, this is enough. So I think the consumer is at the problem and not the producer. That's what I told her. One uh, April catheter I had from some local company and it was kinking straight away. So we rejected it. So we wanted the best. I'll come to you, sir. I'll come to you. Dr. Sir. I'll come to you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Parag, you were saying something. Uh, so over that, because you wanted to make a comment to the question uh, which Dr. Balavan could put to Dr. Dulkate. So any, you want to add something more on that? No, sir. No, I, I believe that question has been addressed, sir. Right, thank you. Uh, Dr. Vishal, uh, quick comment from Good you. Evening, sir. Then I'll uh, go to Dr. Good there. evening, sir. I have a question, sir. Uh, suppose a new product is made, uh, outcome is the same, but we we make use of certain technology and the and overall the cost is brought considerably down. So would that product be eligible for the patents? Uh, the outcome is the same, the technology is existing, and but the somehow the the total cost which, uh, which, uh, which is... Uh, used to make the product that is considerably lower down. Is that eligible for the patents? So which this means you are talking about raw material that is used. I think the question, uh, I think Dr. Mr. Prague can handle it. <laughs> yes. They're all <laughs> technical experts. He would, what I got from Vishal, uh, Dr. Vishal is that A is existing, B has been created, technology is same, but suppose A cost was 10 lakhs, B cost is 1 lakh, so, how to go about that? Sir, the answer is very simple. Patent talks about novelty. If there is a novelty, you may get patent. Secondly, you have to check whether it has inventive step. Without changing technology, you cannot have better product or cost reduction. The simple thing. Because if the technology is already available, and if you know that the technology is yielding the product costing 10 lakhs, so using same technology and yielding one lakh product is not possible unless and until you make certain changes. So if you do any minor changes also, if you add a catalyst to simply put it, if it, if I, if I'm talking about the process kind of thing. So if the reaction is going on, 
A reacts with B to give C. And if your earlier technology was relating to methanol, and if you replace that methanol with ethanol, saying that ethanol is much cheaper than methanol, and that's why my cost of production going low. It is novel, but it is not inventive. Why? Methanol and ethanol can be substituted for each other. Both are polar solvents. Both are carbon-containing compounds. Both I'll, one I'll, carbon I'll interrupt you here. I'll go to the see. In, we all will agree that there is a tech equipment known as video laryngoscope, and we have seen that there is a video laryngoscope costing ten to fifteen lakh rupees, and there are many which have been manufactured by our own colleagues, anesthesiologists. And they have been patented also, and they are costing as low as fifteen thousand to fifty thousand. So, if you, if you can explain in those terms, sir, cost is not a determining factor. Okay. The determining factor is technological change. Whether the technology, you as you said, there are certain companies producing the same product and they are selling it at five lakhs rupees, and you are able to produce the same machine in fifteen thousand. How you can do that? there is possibility that you have changed certain components in your machine earlier machine has some costlier co components which you replaced with the uh, other parts and you can achieve the same results correct if that is the scenario you can go for patent but patent office will only check whether there is any change in the components and if there is a change in the components you can go for it and additionally you can mention that because of this change i can produce this machinery at lower cost but first of all you have to show the change right now it's my honor to invite uh, one esteemed delegate faculty i think apart from me and dr nishant he is he has attended the maximum number of classes in last one and a half years dr vijay magnotri sir over to you sir so so, so nice of you dr malhotra my question to dr more regarding one thing he has just now told this thing the biochemical engineering registration is much common patency is much common so my question is that how much nanotechnology is applicable in india in this circumstances to the medical side medical equipments is there any data with him are trained towards that side sir nanotechnology is in nascent stage at at present in india patent filings are there but not much and trained we can always find out by visiting patent office and we can check the technologies by classification so there is a option given you can check how many patents have been filed for a particular type of technology by putting particular classification code there but at present the answer for your question is nanotechnology is not that much aggressively filed in india though the research is going on can we get the proper guidance regarding the particular technology from any institute in india regarding the medical products i didn't get your question sir sorry is is you are aware of any institute which is recommended for the nanotechnology development of specification for the medical equipments particularly in the critical care no no i am not aware about it. thank you anishad in the meantime you can uh, continue the discussion you can please uh, sir uh, actually, I, can i sorry for interruption can i respond to the sir's question which one uh, sir uh, regarding this nanotechnology sir yes please sir actually we always forget that sir we have got iits and sir uh, we always forget that we can have their help sir for these things and rather they are willing to work with uh, doctors uh, for such kind of things sir sir iit k iit kanpur and iit bombay both are working on nanotechnology uh, nanotechnology sir i can provide you the number of sir iit kanpur director sir you can spoke to him and he will help you out sir okay oh. one thing more than dr jain yes, yes sir please sir that what suggestion came out just now how the person which is in somewhere can coordinate with these uh, technology institutes so my suggestion is again it is on to the cap of the navin that there should be some section which should coordinate about all these things in isa head office 
then only you can judge. Otherwise, you see in the Trivendram, they were working like anything, but the outcome is not so effective as what it should be. So that is my reason or asking regard because just now they talk about the material, they talk about everything. Everything cost will come down drastically if you follow the nanotechnology in the medical science. This is my personal feeling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Your point is taken, sir, and noted. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, Avnish, uh, we've got Avnish Kare from Udaipur also. He has been also actively involved in. Uh, if you can, I know you have been writing so much on the chat box. If you can express vocally also, that shall be very nice. And Nishant, in the meantime, you can just scroll the uh, chat box. Any questions coming up? Right, sir. And any other of the esteemed uh, panelists, if they want to uh, add something uh, to which they've already expressed. Dr. Balavankar, Dr. Dulke, Dr. Apesh and Vishal, uh, if you want to express, uh, most most welcome. As sir said, uh, IITs are there, even uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, yeah, yes, then, sir. Uh, Indian yeah. Institute of Science, and uh, so many now DRDO is uh, open up after so many dormant years. Yes, sir. Uh, so things are uh, looking right, but only thing is our uh, requirement has to be met by some coordination. As sir said, uh, uh, ISA can uh, take some uh, lead in that. Uh, form an innovative cell and uh, form uh, coordination with all the, some of these institutes and government agencies. And uh, this may help the medical industry and even industry partners. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is the thing. So most of the questions that have been asked in the chat box have been by Dr. Amnish himself. So if he's, uh, if he's ready to unmute himself. We have been... I hope there are no more questions. Dr. Balavante, you wanted to say something? No, 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 I'm fine. I think so. Yeah. So, the basic aim of uh, this particular, uh, keeping this particular topic was to, yes, to sensitize and stimulate uh, all the budding uh, innovators that please do not label your idea as Jugaad. Do not belittle it by calling it a Jugaad, but that idea can be definitely be transformed into something very, very big. It can lead on to very big innovation, which can be patented, published, as well as manufactured. And as Dr. Anshu then said, it can bring you both name and fame and some revenue also. And generating revenue by this second source of legal income is not bad. It is, is totally ethical. And we should promote this intellect amongst ourselves that yes, we have to ensure that our idea reaches up to that particular stage. I have seen many, many bright young minds who come up with an idea, but they just fade over the subsequent months and they do not progress further to the stage of patenting and to the stage of manufacturing. But with this input from Dr. Anshul Jain and Mr. Prag, uh, the attorney into all the medical and legal aspects, with great inputs from Dr. Balavankar, Dr. Dulgate, sir, Dr. Peksh, and Dr. Vishal. I am very sure it will sensitize and stimulate all the anesthesiologists to ensure that their idea gets converted into patent and it's ultimately manufactured and is deliverable at the end of the anesthesiologist. I, before I thank everyone, and just to inform everybody on that next class will be Monday on a very important topic, death on table, how to proceed further. So all the medical legal aspects on DOT, God forbidding, nothing happens. This should never happen to any anesthesiologist, any surgeon. But if it happens, what to do, how to do, what when to do. So I once again thank Dr. Anshul Jain, Mr. Pragmore, Dr. Balavankar Subramaniam, Professor uh, Dulgate Sir, Dr. Peksh Patwa, Dr. Vishal Singla for sparing your valuable time. And I'm very sure we'll be interacting with you in near future for more subsequent classes. And I thank Dr. Nishansai and Dr. Monica for uh, coordinating today's class. Thank you very much.